Hey everyone, uh, I actually just ran into a small problem that I thought would make a perfect video. I need to do some testing of a .NET 6 application on Linux and turns out I don't have .NET installed for Linux yet. And uh, as you can probably see up in the top corner, I'm running uh, Ubuntu 20.04 uh, and this is LTS version and I don't have .NET installed. So if I were to say .NET, it would say command not found. So this is under Windows subsystem for Linux. And I thought that we could walk through setting it up just in case you're running into the exact same issue that I am. Uh, so one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a link in the description of this video that gives you the command line for for everything that you need to know. So you don't have to watch my video to type in the commands. You could actually just go straight to the reference and use the commands there. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to set up the package manager where it would actually install the SDK or the runtime uh, itself. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually just show you the documentation and we'll talk through it just for a moment. Uh, so I'm running Ubuntu in Windows Subsystem for Linux, but if you're running other distros of Linux, there's actually installation instructions for all those. Uh, so everything I'm showing you here is for Ubuntu, specifically for 20.04. But if you're running a newer version of Ubuntu, those uh, instructions are a little bit higher up on the list. So the big thing we want to do here is we want to set up uh, apt-get so it can properly pull the correct packages down for us. The first command we're going to run is wget, and that pulls down the proper uh, Debian packages uh, for us to use. So that's a pretty quick process, um, depending on your connection. Uh, next, we're going to add this to our package manager uh, using sudo. Uh, let me type in my password so it all works. Uh, so once that's done, we can actually remove that file that we had just downloaded because we don't need it anymore. So we can get rid of it. Um, once this part is done, it's as simple as doing an update, apt get update, which takes a moment, but it will pull down all the packages associated with Microsoft. You can see it up here in the top. Uh, when that's done, we could say sudo apt-get install. We'll say yes, .NET SDK 6.0. Uh, you could also do just the ASP.NET Core runtime if, if that's what you need. Um, but if you're a developer, most likely you just need the SDK. So we'll say install. It's going to go through the process of installing all the packages necessary to make this work. So we'll give this a moment. When everything's said and done, you'll hopefully get back to your terminal prompt without any errors at all. If you have errors, you might probably need to go look at the documentation. Make sure you typed in all the commands correctly. We'll clear your screen. Let's type .NET. And we see we now have the uh, .NET command prompt uh, ready to go. Uh, let's just do .NET new console. We'll call this foo. And this is going to generate a new folder for us and we can see we have our app .NET run and everything is working as it should on Linux and what's really cool about this if you're new to .NET you could take this same application and it will cross compile to not just Linux now but it will cross compile to Windows and you can run it on Mac and so on uh, so hopefully this was helpful to you if you have any questions at all please leave them down in the comments if i need to record follow-up videos i totally will thank you so much i'll see you next time